Hey everybody, it's Suzanne at Home of Soaps. Um, I'm taking a little break from making soap and today I'm going to make some bath bombs. I've already made a few and then I thought, oh, well, I'll get the camera going and show you guys how I do it. I have done it so many ways and in, in through the years that um, the cupcake uh, bath fizzies that you know the one that you decorate with the meringue on top those sometimes they come out really nice and sometimes they're just a total disaster you just never know how they're going to come out I've made those and and like I said that's always kind of tricky but I have made some really nice ones and they smell just wonderful and I've sold quite a few but um they're dependent on the I think it's maybe the humidity maybe in the air or I know the the different seasons has something to do with it and I just don't like making them so I do though but I don't like it the other ones um, I I actually bought a bunch of these um, ice cube trays and then they have the um, silicone bottom and they uh, things pop out really really good and I use these for um, my goat's milk when I buy goat's milk um, from a farmer down the road I pour it in here and then I freeze them and then I just pop them out and put them in baggies and then as I want to use them I just measure out how many I want to use so I've used these and I bought quite a few of these and I used them for making bath bombs too um, if you mix equal parts of your baking soda and your citric acid you get these and then um, the other ones that I used to use were the plastic uh, kind and I've switched and gone to the these the stainless steel ones so, but um, anyway, I, but I used to use these for the embeds, which is like um, equal parts, like I said, and then, you know, you make your, your other part. But um, I came across a video, let's see if I can get this, Alexis Hart, I think is your name, and she did it with uh, teaspoons, quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, and made the little embeds like that. And hers looked really, really pretty. And mine looked really, really white. So um, I, I did put colors, though, on the outside. But the inside was white, and that's how I did it. Okay, I'm back. New batteries from all those soaping videos that I was doing. Alrighty, so um, two teaspoons of whatever color you want to work with I am working with um, grape knee-high I love these colors from mad oils um, I've just recently um, started ordering from them and they have such nice colors I'm in North Carolina and they're in Florida so I always pick people that are close to me mainly because of the shipping and I'm I'd, I'd like to get it as soon as possible. There's others out there, and I, I just about order from everybody. But if I want it really quick, um, I try to order whoever's closer to me. Um, but um, Nurture Soap and uh, Wholesale Supply Plus and uh, Mountain Herbs. I mean, there's so many places to get so many good products and everything that... Just go for it. Okay, so I've got this all mixed up really nice. Um, you can see that. Um, so uh, if you have any questions, you can just message me. All right, for the liquid part of this, um, I use... Um, either witch hazel or alcohol. Today I'm going to use the alcohol, but um, for the liquid part you want to put one tablespoon of um, a light oil, grapeseed oil, um, fractionated coconut oil, um, sweet almond oil, 
whatever light fragrance or what fragrance whatever light oil that you have today I'm going to use fractionated coconut oil um, and then one table so one tablespoon of that one tablespoon of whatever fragrance you're using and one tablespoon of polysorbate and so that goes in there that's your I, three tablespoons of a liquid um, if you wanted to if you were making um, like you could put vitamin E um, would there be anything you know to stop you from doing that um, Or the sky's the limit, I guess. I, th I don't think there's any restrictions as long as you don't make it like too wet and you and you use light, because um, these are supposed to float, and so you wouldn't want to weigh them down in any way. And um, as long as it's um, light, I guess, light oils. So, and you can see how this has changed putting a little bit of um, wet to it brought out the color a little bit nicer and get down here to the bottom now when you can do this it's it crumbles apart a little bit but not bad it's starting to stay together so that's good all right so now um, you can whatever you want to use witch hazel or alcohol um, I'm using, I have both, but today I'm going to use alcohol. Um, oh, this smells really, really good. It's lavender. Mmm. Just soothing to the senses. So, um, you can start out like spray four times, mix, spray four times, mix, or spray five times, mix, spray five times, mix, until it stays together. It's almost there. So I think I have 10 and there's 15. And five more. There's 20. And I do think, like, depending on the day, if if it's real humid and the air is kind of, has a lot of moisture in it, then you probably don't have to, um, you, you know, spray as much. And five more. So there's no set rule. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say spray 20 times or spray 10 times. It, You just have to kind of get a feel for it, and that's good there it stayed it stayed together so that's good I'm gonna stop with the alcohol all right now like I said I I put the I used to do these for the dunking diving bombs that I used to make and then I came across and I'm gonna give um, 
Alexis there. I'm going to give her full credit because I didn't come up with this. I'm not that smart. But um, anyway, so this is um, how she does. She loosely, she loosely um, puts some, some of that in there. Don't fill it all up. And um, the embeds that she makes, she made them with a one quarter uh, teaspoon measuring uh, spoon and one half. So you're going to do like this. Then you're going to just sprinkle some of this over the top loosely. Then you're going to take and cup it. And this is how she does and it's a great method. Cup it and then take your other side here and put it together. And I found out the more you put these together, the easier they come apart. <laughs> and I used to use the plastic ones, but actually I cracked them. I'm so rough on stuff. You whack it with the spoon, comes right off, and you whack it some more. And it comes right off like that. So you have a nice bomb. And I think it felt a little dry, so I'm going to go with... I know, I thought I was done. I know, I know. But and this is you know like no n no set number you kind of got to just go by the feel of it and if it stays together good then good so all right you take your your half of your loosely like that it's very loose You put your little embeds in there. You can alternate them like that. You sprinkle some of this over it like that. You take and you cup it like that. You take your other part and go like that. And then you just put it together. I'm going to see if I can do That's kind of got a big gap in there, but you'll see. I'm going to try to do the next one to show you. The closer you get the gap, the easier they are to come apart. See if I can do okay loosely in beds loosely cut 
cup it. Loosely. And put together. Let me see if I can get these closer. Alright. Now you see how they are close. I've got them pretty close. All right. See how nice they come apart? And this one will probably just fall out. That's so nice. Let me see if I can do that again. That was just too nice. Again, I you know I really want to thank that um, I don't know her. Um, it's it's not that I'm. I just am appreciative of Alexis uh, there for uh, her video. Um, it's this is my own recipe, um, but it works okay, and I'm happy with it. And I'm um, these are just cuter than the ones I was doing. The ones I was doing was uh, blah. Okay, loosely. So that's loosely on there. And now cup it. And then take your other part. to get that closer together. Well, the next one. I also bought um, from Wholesale Supply Plus. I bought the plastic ones that you make the bomb and then you leave it right in the um, you leave it right in the plastic. I've bought those before too. And they those were good. They were bigger though than this. Maybe I'm thinking three inch. These will make really, really nice Christmas gifts. Oh, Christmas gifts. Oh, so at AC Moore, I found these little bags here. There's a hundred, and um, this is getting off the subject, huh? I always do that. Okay, so you put your bath bomb in there, and then um, I got these little, this is at AC Moore too, and um, so let's see. Thank you tab or thank you things, and then um, they just go on there. Oh, so cute. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, now let me just see. Oh yeah, every once in a while you gotta do the mixing up, and you might have to spritz it too. All right, loosely. I can't wait to take a bath tonight. Hmm. Yay. Whoop. Stay right there. Okay. All right. Loosely. And then pop it and then take your other one I think I just put too much in there again yeah. well, 
Well, maybe not. Well, maybe I'll just talk to myself. Okay. See how that falls right out? The minute you tap it, it just falls right out. Okay. Loosely. And I'm not going to bore you with doing all of these, but... Well, maybe I will. <laughs> no, I won't. Um... I'll fast forward or I think you kind of get the idea of it. If you have any questions on the recipe, I don't have a problem at all giving it to you. So, and I did give it to you earlier, but if you don't understand, you know, any of it, don't hesitate to to contact me. And I hope you're liking this video. this works. If you don't fill enough, if you don't, well actually it did fill. Well, all right let me just do that again. That's unreal. Okay, loosely. Embeds. Loosely, cup it,
here's one that's already fallen apart. So, I would say you need more alcohol there, Suzanne. No problem. I think I should start working faster here. Okay. And um, this is getting drier. So you want to wet it. Everything is going to be purple here. And this is just a single batch too, so it's not like a double batch where it's going to take so long, but I guess because I wanted to show you guys. I'm taking a little time here. These are just adorable little gifts.
These are cute for showers too. Baby showers for little favor gifts. I think these are my favorite. Um, the cupcake bath bomb fizzies that you decorate the top with a meringue. Those are so cute and everything, but um, sometimes it's just the basic. I don't know. I, because they don't come out all the time, I'm discouraged with them. I have made some really nice ones, and then on the other hand, some no, not so very nice ones. So, But these here... These are just always good. Never have a problem with these. And they'll fizz and dunk and dive and do all sorts of neat things. Different colors um, with the peach and the blue and the yellow there. And then the purple here. It's just... Um, cute and they basically are no fail they basically if you one should learn how to do it um, they're pretty good Getting down to the bottom here. But I think you guys um, have a pretty good idea now. And um, like I said, this is this method here is much nicer than the way I used to do it. And um, I'm very grateful for those that take the time and, and do videos and show others. See how that just fell right out. That was good. I can get another one out of here. We'll try. Now, this is the tricky part. That was cute. <laughs> oh, boy. I could have made little in beds. All right. 
always the last one. Not too bad. Usually I make a worse mess. Oh, see? That comes right out. Well, that was perfect. All right. Well, I, I'm uh, glad I got a chance to share this with you. Um, I hope you liked it. And uh, I hope you um, subscribe and, and uh, hit the like button there. And um, thank you for watching. Have a great day.